Hi guys, Chris Grice here on Tree Frog Talks. This week we're going to be looking at the three top web trends of 2015 and also how those are going to work for your business. So we're going to look at the three big ones, which is parallax websites. Don't worry, I'll explain what that means in a minute. Um, single page websites and also uh, card layout websites as well. Now, don't worry, we're going to take each one one at a time and we're going to take it nice and slow. Let's start with the first one, which is a parallax layout. Now, this sounds really complicated and they couldn't give it a more techy name if they tried. But all a parallax layout is, if it's like the website behind me, whereby you've got layers of information going over the top of each other that almost give this sort of 3D effect and sort of give the website a lot more movement. So it's a good way of turning your website into sort of cross between um, a traditional website and a presentation, if you like. Uh, the cool thing is as well that the animation moves in relation to what the person's scrolling. So there's, there's quite an immersive feel to it. The downside to this layout is basically that the file size and the page load time can be quite high, uh, especially if you're using really big background images and that kind of thing. So think about what you're doing when you're choosing your images. Think about whether you can use uh, solid colour backgrounds rather than photographs, because otherwise you can really, really um, run up a, a, a big file size on that. But that said, this particular layout, um, it, it's kind of a love it or hate it, but I think these are really, really good, especially if you've got a process or story in your business. So for instance, if you make a widget and you want to show somebody how it goes uh, from a flat piece of steel into a picture frame, you can use this to sort of show the story of how that happens. Or again, if you've got a process, if you're a service-based business, you can use each of these slides to sort of show how the process moves forward. So they're really good for that, but just be wary. Some people find them a little bit tricky. Large file sizes, there's pros and cons to it. So it might even be that you just make part of it a parallax. The second one we're going to look at is single page websites. Now, some people think that a parallax is always a single page. That's not the case. A parallax only relates to this bit, not the fact that it goes all the way down in one page. So these single page websites have actually been um, around for quite some time. And what I mean that is that when you click on the link at the bottom, it actually just scrolls down further up or further down the page. One thing to be really, really careful of, I mean, yes, it looks slick and they look really cool and they're very popular at the moment. We've had loads of people come to us uh, from to our SEO department and I've said look um, I'm ha I've had my website redesigned it's really modern and functional but it's not working uh, on if Google's dropped it and what it is is because it's only, Google only sees one page with all their information on it and it just sees it as a very small insignificant website um, best way to test this is click the links at the top if the um, address bar uh, if the URL and the address bar changes then you're fine, it's separated out. Similarly, uh, if you've got some clever clogs that's been used in JavaScript, if you scroll down from top to bottom on the page, and again, that address bar changes, you should be fine. But if it's one URL, you're gonna really, really struggle um, to, to, get, um, to compete with traditional websites on Google. The last one we're gonna look at is what we call the card layout design. Um, Basically, these are the ones who, who, who look a little bit like Pinterest, where you've got uh, the, the blocks going across with little bits of everything in each. Now, again, this isn't actually that much of a, of a modern idea. It's just changed style slightly. I can, I can remember building sites not too dissimilar um, in, in the sort of early 2000s, but it, it's, it's come back again, um, and you know there are obviously uh, sort of design uh, changes that make it look more fresh. So with a card layout, the cool thing and the reason these have come back to be popular is the fact that they're really, really good for different devices. So for instance, um, if you're on a Big Mac, you might have um, four uh, squares going across, four cards. If it's on a, a tablet, you might have two or three and on a mobile, just one going down in a line. So it's a really good way of um, altering 
the layout of your website um, w without having to sort of do completely different designs. So it keeps everything nice and consistent. Downside of it is really if you have a very, very text heavy website, this can be a problem. So, but the way around that is really just to make sure you have a separate template as well. So it might be you use the, the card layout for pages with less content or the uh, landing pages and then have a standard text uh, template that can go that in or out um, for the others as well. So there's three trends, all with their um, pros and all with their cons. Um, I hope that's helped you to sort of see which one would be best for you. So let's just summarize, shall we? Parallax websites, um, very big on file size, can be a little bit confusing, but great for storytelling. Single page websites, um, great for simplicity, but not very good for Google. Card websites, great for keeping the experience consistent across different devices, but not so good if you've got a very text heavy site. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Uh, we'll be back next week. Next week, Ellis is going to take the session and he's going to look um, at editing your videos um, and how to make the best out of your videos uh, and, and online content. So watch out for that one. Uh, in the meantime, catch us on social media. Make sure you subscribe. Send us any questions. We'd love to have questions from you and we're more than happy uh, to, to answer them and, and give you as much support as you need. Okay, bye.